This is a Mike Phoenix unboxing. Hello everyone, it's Mike Phoenix. Welcome to the unboxing of Obelisk the Tormentor, um, the Egyptian god statue by Korobukiya. This is the final god statue in their set. This is the blue one. I know they had an exclusive uh, red one, but I decided to go with the original blue. Um, but yeah, let's get started. As always, I will do a 360 spin of the box so you guys can see. So again, you have the front, then you have the side, which is just an image of how it looks like. The back, again, is a teaser of the other two statues. So all three statues. And then the back, again, is another image of Obelisk. And then we're back to the front. As with the other statues, um, he comes triple, you know, packed. All the parts, again, have the plastic. So again, I don't have any issue uh, shipping these from Japan. You know, they don't get damaged in transit. Um, I did notice that I think he comes with an extra hand that's probably like interchangeable. It's only one though. But yeah, I will open this off screen. So these are all the parts that come with Obelisk. Um, the main body's already set up. Pretty much the parts are just the two wings, the stand, two pegs, and then the extra hand that I mentioned. He only has one extra though. Okay, now I'll do the assembly. Okay, so we'll say grabbing him is kind of hard because he's spiky everywhere and the spikes are sharp. So it's hard to just like try to grab an area that you won't get pricked. Um, for the wings, they, they're really touching the base and I don't like that. Like you're scraping the base. I wish they made it like maybe a half an inch, a couple centimeters. I know it's in Japan. Shorter or like raise this part a little bit higher. I, I just don't like that's touching the base. Um, overall, the quality looks good. Haven't seen any defects on him compared to Raw. As you guys remember, the Raw statue had some paint that was chipped off. Um, the hand is easy to remove. You just kind of twist it off and then you can switch it. So depending which pose you want, or not pose, but like hand. Um, I don't think his arm is movable, so yeah. It's pretty much just you can switch out the arm, this hand, the arm. Um, and his head is movable, but I think that's it as for joints. He doesn't really move. Um, but it looks pretty cool. Again, you can have him standing aside with like the hand. Now for a 360. I will say he looks a lot darker on camera than he will in person. Um, maybe when I do the close up, his color will come out better. But yeah, looking at the camera, he looks super dark. I mean, it is like a, I it like a dark navy blue color. Um, but in the camera, it's just showing up darker. Overall, I really do like the statue. Um, I think the whole set, if you can get it, is definitely worth it. This is definitely a better uh, build quality and some other things I've seen. Um, I already, you know, expressed my complaints about this one, mo mostly just that I don't think the wings should be touching the base. Um, but for Obelisk, it looks really nice. Again, I'm sorry that this part probably looks dark, but it's not dark in real life. Um, unfortunately, I think for this video, I won't be able to show the three statues side by side, um, just because I don't have 
it won't fit in this box all three statues um i think i'll do a separate video having all three of them like on a table and you know pretty cool setup um but anyways you know thanks for watching um you know remember to leave a like comment subscribe if you haven't already and please let me know what content you guys want to see in the future thank you